Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome to beginning C tutorial number four, which is going to be output uh, inputs and operations. So we went over inputs. I mean, we went over outputs last tutorial and the tutorial before that, and um, so uh, you already know the print F lines. Now we're going to learn how to input in numbers and other operations in order to compute things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our test.c document and we're going to get rid of these things here. We are going to initialize these not at the beginning but by pulling things in. So we're going to get rid of this guy and then the two main things that you need for um, input and output is to number one tell the user what you're doing what they need to do. So here we're going to say uh, enter in first integer and then here say um, enter in last integer enter enter in last integer forward slash n and now in between these we're going to bring in those integers and now how we do that is we're going to use a special scan function so it's scan f underscore s. Apparently the scan f has been deprecated, so uh, it, it it doesn't work anymore, and it throws an error and won't actually let you compile it. So you're gonna have to use this guy. All right, so we're gonna use percent i, just like the the placeholder in uh, the print f statement. So we're telling it that, and we're telling it where. Oops, where's that and sign? There it is and where it is located or what I guess you could say where it's located in RAM or what the integer is however you want to say it so we're saying we want an I integer so scan it in and send it to integer 1 now we're going to take that same guy there copy and paste this alright so now we're going to just build it so it succeeded now we're just going to run it for fun. Okay, so now it says 1. So you en enter. It says enter in the first integer. Let's enter in 4. Hit enter. And it says enter in last integer and hit 2 and hit enter. Okay, so nothing happens. But we need to. In we need so, so you can see that it works. So let's do a print F statement saying first. And then we're going to do the percent I. Then second percent I. And then we're going to have um, we're going to say first note we're going to say uh, integer one and then integer two and we're going to build those whoops that's supposed to be integer two right there Okay, so it passed, succeeded. Okay, so enter the first integer, we're going to say 1. Enter in the last integer, 4. So it says first integer is 1 and second integer is 4. So it made it in. Let's change this to second. And let's close this window. Alright, so now let's do some math with those two. So let's do... Uh, um, int sum and then we'll say down here int sum equals integer 1 plus integer 2 then we're going to say print f after we do a make sure that we do a new line here forward slash uh, new line and we're going to say print f we're going to say um, sum of the two is and we're gonna have a percent sign percent I and we're gonna say um, sum and we're gonna make sure that we're gonna do this so when it says press any key to continue that gets out of the way so we can see what's going on there we go now we do debug build
Oops. So I accidentally reinitialized it right there. My fault. All right, so here's the first integer. So let's do let's do something that equals six. So we'll do four. Second integer two. First integer is four. Second integer is two. Sum of the the two is six. So there you go. There is the basic. Um, there there's the basic uh, use of an input output, and I'll show you the operations. So so this I guess we're going to get into a note section. This isn't really going to be code. So here we have, of course, the plus is addition, and you have minus subtraction. Then you have this guy, wait. This guy is the, the backslash is division. Then you have multiplication is the, where is it? Sorry, I don't I don't know. I can't even see my keyboard, so I don't know which one. There it is. So that's the asterisk is multiplication. And that is not the x because the x could be a variable. So in this case, it's that guy. That's an operation. All right? So so we got addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and then you have the percentage, which means remainder of now what that means is that if you have, for example, 5 divided by 4, it's going to have a remainder, and that is, you know, 1. It's going to have a remainder of 1. There's one number left over, because 5 divided by 4, so 4 times 1 is 4, and 5 divided minus 4 is 1, so it's going to have a remainder of 1. Very useful in this case. Uh, that's a remainder. Let me see what else this book ha wants to put in there probably some other stuff that we don't use too often actually no that's it that's all the book says okay so let's use some of these let's go ahead and do uh, all these different things here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep we're not gonna change I guess we could do that um, now so this guy we're just gonna keep some we're not gonna keep a variable for each one we're just gonna keep rewriting some so in this case, it's integer, and we're going to do divided by the second integer. In this one, we're going to do in, uh, integer plus, um, where's the multiply? There you go. Multiply. So here's plus divide, multiply, minus. Divide, multiply, subtract, and so we got those, those, those. And we're going to do the final one, remainder. Percentage sign. And yeah, we're going to go project, build, succeeded. Okay, let's start it. Enter in first integer, so we're going to do a different one. Let's do 3 and 5. Okay, first number is 3, second is 5. The sum of the 2 is 8. Division of the 2 is 0. The reason why it says 0 is because this is an integer, so integers do not have any decimal places. So it will automatically drop it down. It will cut it off because of overflow, so it will keep it down to the lowest number. So if it was 0.8, it would still drop it down to zero. Because this here is more than, this is more than half of that, and it still didn't round it up. There's no rounding in programming unless you put it in there. So in this case, it just drops it to zero. Okay, multiply, uh, multiply of the two is 15. Subtract of the two is negative two. Three minus five is negative two. Remainder of the two is th three. Okay, I don't know why it said three there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, those are the basic operations there. And uh, yeah, so, so that's how you would do anything you, you want in here, any sort of math and anything comes off of these primitive 
These are primitive um, operations. We could also do operation overloading in C and C++, which we will go on later. So yeah, so this is the basic uh, operations and using to add integers as well as input here, which is scan f underscore s. You tell it what you're going to input and where you're going to put it. Where you're going to input and where you're going to put it. So if you want to double, you put a D. If you want to float, you put an F, etc., etc. And then here we're outputting it. So you you know you do the printf line, the string here. This is a string, but we'll go over that later. And here is the sum. All right. So uh, that's the end of this tutorial. So this has been Stephen from Legit Tech Tutorials. I thank you for watching my uh, tutorial on number four of C, which is input. I mean, yeah, which is input and uh, operations. And please subscribe for more videos in this series and other series like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.